2025 has been dubbed the era of AI agents. And as we're seeing, these autonomous AIs, AI that are able to do multiple things in one go, these agentic AIs are really starting to come out and be put in our hands right now. And the one I want to show you today is Claude's connectors and ability to connect Claude to a whole host of different things from the files on your computer to your Google Drive. Google Drive's been there for a while, but Asana, Notion, different connectors that give us an ability to start leveraging these agentic capabilities of AI. Let me show you how it works. So in Claude here now, we've got these connectors and you can add connectors from a whole range of things. You can see we've got Asana, we've got Canva, Google Calendar and Gmail, Google Drive, Notion, PayPal, Stripe, Zapier, loads of different cool things. And there are desktop specific extensions. So if you're using the desktop app for Claude, you can connect it to your file system, Apple Notes, Chrome, and these bit, these things have just been really cool. I've been playing with them quite a lot. And I wanted to show you, oh, that one as well, control over your Mac. That's really good. A PDF filler, lots of practical applications that are starting to come out. I wanted to show you the Notion integration because I use Notion for everything. I live in, my whole life is inside of Notion. My second brain is in there. And now Claude has the ability to create, edit, manipulate my Notion database. So let's say for argument's sake, we wanted to create a client dashboard in Notion. Watch this. I'd like to design a world-class client dashboard in Notion. I want it to be a single page that contains a task database in Kanban board format so I can track what I'm working on, what my client is working on, and we can see what is to be done, what's in progress and what's completed. I'd also like a section where we can store all of our meeting notes in a separate database. I'd like a section that has an embedded Google Drive space so that we can collaborate on Google Docs. The goal of this dashboard is to act as a single source of truth for my work with clients. So what I've done here is I've started this process by thinking into the AI what I believe to be important, what I'm looking for this thing to do, what I'm hoping to achieve. This gives us a good starting point to begin designing the dashboard with AI. This is before we've even gotten to the actual Notion integration. Now, one of the things that you'll note with Claude is it's really quick to please. So it will jump in to trying to do the whole thing. This for me is one of the drawbacks of agentic AI. You have to kind of hold them back. They're a bit like a wild dog that just wants to go running away and doing its own thing. So here you can see it's trying to connect to my notion to create pages. I'm going to allow it and I want to see what it does without that. And I want to show you how to fix this so that we can use this connector now to create something outstanding without having to go around fiddling inside of Notion. So I've made the connection. I'm just giving it permission to create the tracker. And it's just creating what I've outlined. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so it's run quite a few processes and jumped into creating the actual thing inside of Notion. It's saying here we've created a dashboard page, project overview, task management, meeting notes repository, shared resources. And then it's added these things here that I didn't ask for. Progress tracking, communication guidelines, knowledge base, task tracker database, Kanban ready. Okay, so we'll see what this looks like inside of Notion. It looks like it's created it. Customize the template, set the Kanban, add Google Drive, and away we go. Beautiful. So let's jump into Notion, see what it looks like. So here's the dashboard it's created. Single source of truth for conscious collaboration and transformation. I like how it's added that little sub headline. Project overview, so we can just fill these details in. Task management, task tracker, meeting notes, shared resources, key frameworks and tools, milestones. It's added a ton of information down here that I might not necessarily want. Let me just have a little look what it's done. So if I click that, it's opening the task tracker database. It's created a meeting notes database. This is good. So I'm going to give it some updated instructions here. This is good. I'm actually looking for an inline view of the database page in the dashboard so that it shows a Kanban, what's to be done, what's in progress and what's completed. At the moment, we've got a table view, it looks like. I also, I'm not sure where you've added these additional informations down at the bottom. So I think what would be better is if we define what the thing needs to look like before you jump in and create it. So yes, an inline Kanban view for the tasks, an inline gallery view for the meeting notes section and an actual embed view for Google Drive. And then I do a project overview that you've created. I think it would be good if we had milestones that we can track. So is there a visual way to do this inside of Notion? 
We could add that at the bottom. Let's work on that. So all I'm doing here is I'm just thinking directly into the AI. And the step I was telling you before is to rather than jump in and create like I did in the beginning is to first define what world class looks like. So by default, no matter what you're doing with AI, asking it to define world class first and then creating from world class and iterating is a better way to do this. I jumped in a bit back to front. Yes, I'm thinking about a visual progress bar and I like the idea of the visual roadmap style layout. I'm not sure what that might look like. So can we create that? And can we also implement the amendments we talked about, about the Kanban board being inline views, Kanban for tasks, gallery view for meetings, and then embed for Google. Let's do it. So now that we've done this the correct way and defined world class, Claude will now automatically go about creating these things. It look, oh, it looks like it's creating a mock-up. <laughs> Very cool. Let's see what this looks like. This is cool. This, you can see it's created a mock-up here of what it might look like visually. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I'm really liking that. I'm not sure how this would work in Notion, but let's just see. Oh, it's still going. I love the mock-up. I'd like you to implement this. I'd like you to update the main dashboard page in Notion, please. So now it looks like it's updating the Notion page. We'll let it complete and see how it does. So now it's fell down and it says, I don't have access to the Notion update tools in this session, which it does. So it's not accurate oh disabled let me enable it yeah it is connected let's go back to the chat we'll try it again looks like the connections are a little janky there for some reason seems to be doing something now okay let's have a look yeah it's not quite handling inline databases too well let me see if we can fix that the meetings and tasks views are not showing anything. So can you actually insert a view of the task database and a view of the meetings database, please? Okay, let's check it. So now we've got task tracker. It's not quite understanding, is it? The gallery view, meeting notes. So we've got the databases in here, but it's just falling down a little bit. It's actually done a good job of pulling out my milestones. Must get that from my co-intelligence OS. So here, what I would want to do is just insert a database board view of tasks tracker. So you can just add a task tracker. Probably what I would do if I was creating this myself. So this will give you a little Kanban board. I was hoping Claude would have done this, but it doesn't seem to be working too well. And then the same one here, I want to add a database in line and this time it's meetings. Yeah, that'll do. So now we've got a meetings list. Yeah, let's just delete that. We can change this view if we wanted in Notion and it is linking to that database there. I'm going to delete that task tracker. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so is it perfect? No, but could we create something really special very easily with the help of Claude now? Yes. And do we want Claude to do it all for us anyway? No, not really, because we want a hand in it. Like we want to be the people that are ruling and guiding the AI here, not the AI to do all of this for us. So I quite like this. I think I could work this into something that would be useful as a dashboard. So there you can see just briefly what we can do with the Claude connectors. That's Notion. You've got all manner of ones to go and explore. Let us know in the comments how you get on in your experiments and I'll see you next time.